Go on then. I do have a bit of the dashboard. Park, hasn't it? Do you think we're there yet? I don't know. Oh, so, oh, this looks more like it. Emerging from the trees. wanted to go up the front steps.
up, not so windy down here. No, no. Fitzroy, Fitzroy Cafe. Okay. You'd expect it to have a name like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Fitzroy Cafe. Now then, around here. I think I just want to walk up to the end and before the gift shop and see what the view is like. Oh, there will be, yeah. Just have a look around here. Oh, well, this is opulence, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, dear, oh, dear, look at that way. going through a tiny little servant's entrance of course but I'm going to take a shot of the front Entrance. Oh, take some more inside, perhaps. Right. Right, here we are at Castle Hall. Okay, right, up you go. So what's this place then? Good God, look at all that lot. What's the name? What the heck? In the, in the entrance. Not in the kitchen. Believable. What's that? What is that? Well, it's pretty, but what is it? Dishes. Oh, it? Ah, dishes. But it must be more important than this big a dish. I like this cabinet. That's nice. Very nice. And this is just the entrance. Come on, yeah, dear. Well, right, let's move on. So it's interesting that the first room you come into at Castle Howard is actually a bedroom, not a drawing room or a lounge. No. There we are. I don't know whose bedroom it is, do you? Yeah, 
test it to be there. Yeah, so. Uh, it looks like a check here. Yeah. Tassels. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Some more over here as well. <laughs> there is a here. And what's this room? Okay. Do you know what it is? This is an interesting place. It's exactly how they housed and bossed in the Hague by the you know, prince and you know, king of the world. Looked in the 18th century. If you go now to to the Hague, you will see a little bit, you know, two extensions around, right? which looks fantastic. Look at gorgeous that. This is the 18th century view of the house and boss in the Hague. One is Queen, Queen Beatrice's palace is yeah. nowadays where she lives in, yeah. in, the, in the Hague. Prince yeah. yeah. William. By the Venetian artist Mark Carriage, all the paintings again, they look maybe too dark and too dramatic for the bedroom from our point of view. 21st century people. But that was the choice of Jacob, that was his taste and choice, you know, of the street press, too tragic, dramatic. So, many paintings, all by Mark Carriage. Mm -hmm. An interesting example is. Furniture, if you would like to know more, because it's such a rare and unique one. This combination of Baudrillard will give you an idea actually of this four pieces. Mm. It is a unique example of marketry and inlaid. There is actually a touch of painting. Everything, everything, nails, eyes, hair, whatever. It's a such a unique example. I dare to say that the mask is wow. made by the Swedish cabinet maker, Christopher Furlong, in 1875. That's all different. Yes. Yes. But, 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 it is, but it is marked. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Everything. Oh, 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 oh.
Ouais.
Sometimes they don't colour, but usually what happens is the scene painters come round with their pots of distressed paint. Yeah. Distressed pictures. And if you want to get the most of the stuff in there, what you do is you know, it's just standard um, problem. I do that. You should figure it out. That's how you do it. Um, Which pot will go down the spot in the picture? Probably there. Up there is El Greco. Oh, yes. Yes, it's going. Prior to the fire in 1940, this room was known as the Canaletto room. It was completely hung, as you can see, with Venetian paintings, not just by Canaletto, but by his nephew, Velotto, 
and Dariuski. Uh, sorry, the paintings were destroyed. About 900 paintings were destroyed in the fire, they saved the rest, and they had about 42 all together to start with, so they had quite a lot. Yeah. But unfortunately, at the end of the war, the trustees that were running everything in the absence of the family made the assumption that the family would not come back into the house to live. Because, you know, about two thirds of the day, yeah. the house front was destroyed. And of course, the eldest and the youngest sons died in 1944, and George had gone missing. Mm -hmm. and so, whether they made an early presumption about George that he wouldn't come back, but they actually offered the school the house for sale, yeah. but the school didn't yeah. want it. Yeah. And then at that point, they decided to sell some of the contents. And unfortunately, the majority of the Venetian paintings went in that sale. And George came back, but too late to stop it. Oh, and he was not happy. Well, mm -hmm. he didn't know you get back somebody walking into selling yours. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, they would have been doing the best they could, I suppose. Yes. Which, whether they'd made it just you know, too, too early a presumption, mm -hmm. I don't know. Because Christian was here, mm -hmm. the eldest sister. She was living in the gatehouse with a pyramid over it. So. Mm -hmm. She could just stop them really, isn't it? Wow. And then I um in the sun I could just put them on. Expect they certainly would know about war, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Completely. Right from the beginning. 
16th century onwards. Richard the Third. Yes, Richard the Third. Yeah, I remember that. <coughs> oh, there is a harpsichord. Yeah, and a and a clavichord. Clavichord there. That's a clavichord. That is. Look at that. Oh, actually, no, it's a piano. It's a it's a square piano. A pedal. Hmm? It's a square piano because it has a pedal down the bottom. It's a square piano. Um, it's a John Broadwood piano. I can't read the date from here. It's definitely a John Broadwood. Uh, it's not good enough to read, but it's John Broadwood. A little harp over there. This is the chord. The villain. The villain. Didn't know what he was doing. Stupid man. and uncles and grandparents who are stopping over to see the children open their presents and grab a cup of coffee and a croissant before going into the next room where we store the children's presents. Wow. Well, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> they hauled around me. <laughs> Thank you. 